It's a heavy old nodule. Look at that one. Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. So I'm just walking down to the beach now. Absolutely cracking day. No rain forecast. I got a little bit lucky yesterday and I got three ichthyosaur vertebrae articulated. So I'll definitely make sure to show them at the end. Low tide is in three hours. New cliff fall alert. Looks like all shale bits, but I'm definitely gonna have a quick look around to see if there's anything of interest here. So out of the little landslide, I've just picked up this piece here with what appears to be lobster. And I know someone who will find this very interesting who's writing a book on lobsters. So I'll probably send it his way. That's the first lower lice lobster piece that I've ever found, which is really quite interesting. Empty one. That beautiful shell preserved in shale. You can see the beautiful detail, really nice and fine. No, this one was empty. So I've skipped by these bits here, I'm hoping to get as much time as I can around this corner here and this is obviously where the tide cuts you off a little bit so this is why I'm always extremely wary. Absolutely gorgeous little spot here. I do always spend a little bit of time just watching the waves. Why wouldn't you? So I've just plucked this orange rock out of this rock pool and you can see a very worn impression of an ammonite wearing out of the top so I'm going to try and split it off but not always preserved very well so don't get your hopes up but you just never know the worth tapping for the sake of it so that looks quite good let's take a look at what we've got fortunately it has all these weird septarian minerals all around it that's definitely a bit of a shame I'm not sure if it'd be preserved under it so I've got to climb up here that's a bit dodgy it's been so slippy. What a view though. So there's usually quite a bit of middle lias material here. So you can get your really big shells, which I often collect and put into my garden. Hopefully I could find one of them today. So here's what I was talking about, about them huge shells that you can find from this area. I mean, how cool does that look? Let's try and get it out. Not a complete one, but more or less all there. So I've just picked up this absolutely gorgeous piece of fossilised wood. I know one or two people have been saying for me to bring these back, so I'll definitely be putting this one on the website. How beautiful is that? If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called biofossil.com. I've got loads of really nice prepared ammonite fossils up for sale. I've also got unopened nodules, what you can crack open. Thank you. So I found another Pleurocerus and I've broken this one off camera with the hope it'll bring me some luck because the last few didn't work very well. Let's have a look now. Oh wow, look at that one. Absolute corker. So that one has probably just made my hunt today worthwhile. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that one. Probably one of the best ones that i found, especially in this red type of material. And even the negative, I'm gonna take the negative back as well. So that's a little bit of a shame to see. 
So it's a negative of a ichthyosaur vertebra. Looks like it's just popped for someone really well. Either that or it's just fallen out of the cliff and it's still hiding amongst here, which is a shame. I'll keep my eye out though, you just never know, you might <laughs> come across it. A beautiful three-tiered waterfall. I'm so lucky to be able to hunt and share my fossil videos here with you lot. Absolutely beautiful today. Not a single other person in sight. I have created a group on Facebook where people can share pictures and videos of their fossil finds from the Whitby area. I want it to be a friendly group for people to get help with their fossil hunting and also receive identifications on their finds. I would love to see you all join. I'll put a link in the video and also in the comments. Thank you. Someone has been very lucky with this one. So I just saw this top bit, which is obviously part of a ammonite keel. And I turned it over and look what they've cracked open. Beautiful Elegantiserus ammonite. I bet that made somebody's trip. Look at the size of this cannonball. Absolutely huge. Go ahead and pick it up. It's a heavy old nodule. Hopefully there's something inside it, that'll be amazing. So I've managed to get it open. There is one on the other side, but it's full of like... <sighs> Looks like it's been out for a while, it's got all that weird sludge you get with these. And there's a duck right there as well. Let's try and crack it from behind. So what I've essentially done is whittled it down to this little one and I'll get that middle out and save that one. And here was the dac that I picked up which was next to it. And I will take that one back home as it is. A little dactyliosaurus on the floor. Take that one back for the boxes of nodules that I sell on my website. And look at the size of this big tree trunk. I didn't even notice that one. That one can go there. And there's a semisolatum dactyliosaurus, obviously very sea rolled, but still worth picking up, I think. A little bit of beeswax on that, maybe a quick clean up. So I'm trying to stop for a bite to eat and a quick drink, and I keep finding loads of pyrotized ducks around this area. They look really nice, that's my bag of crisps rolling along. Really nice pyrotized one. That's just split really well with a chisel. So on the inside of this nodule there's a really promising looking Pleurosaurus. You can see it's just worn out of the edge there. So here it goes. Just looking for the right place to tap it really. Just on the edge here. It's either going to work or it's not. So let's examine how this one has gone. So you can see it has run right around the keel, which is a very promising sign. So let's go ahead and open it and find out what we've got. Ah, oh, it seems to have taken the edge off it. So I'm just searching through this very last bit before I start making my way back. And I can see what looks like a beach popped dac. So let's go ahead and check it out. Definitely think that's well worth carrying back. So you might think I've placed these but I've definitely not. The first Hildostrus ammonite of the day, a little bit worn but still a nice little example. Right next to it, there is another Hildy. And what looks like a little ichthyosaur vertebra. 
possibly. Yeah, a little bit for your vert there. Very worn, but I can have a, a little go at prepping that one out. Now let's have a look at the little hildy. Just needs that cap removing. And it'll be a great little example. Gives me something to practice on. And it was empty. Complete dud. So that is exactly how you like to find them. I found quite a few ducks today, but I've not filmed them. But that's a beauty. Straight back in the bag to take home. So I am now slowly starting to make my way back up the beach. I've got quite a long walk to go. It's low tide, so I've got plenty of time. I just always like to be on the ball with stuff. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a like if you have enjoyed it. Thank you. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this fossil hunting video and I will see you all on the next one. Hi everyone, so as promised I am back up on the beach and I'm going to show you them if you saw bones that I found yesterday. I was having a look underneath a landslide. Just to see if any nodules had been washed out and I spotted this very unusual shape. And it's obviously three if you saw bones. This would have been part of a much more articulated skeleton in the cliff but the landslide has basically washed them all out and I was lucky enough to find these. There could be more within the slip itself, although who knows, I'd say it's very likely or they could have already washed out. But I'm very happy to have found this, I think it's a really nice piece. I'm not going to prep it or do anything with it, I think it's just a nice one to have on display.